Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to another Mathematics Olympia class. Today we we'll continue with the uh, the last question we use as a kind of take home. And the question states: If 25 raised to the power x minus 16 raised to the power y equals 369, find x. So we have to find the value of x and y. Rather, find the value of x and y. So we have 25 raised to the power x minus 16 raised to the power x equals 369. So if we break down 25, we have 5 squared and 16, we have 4 squared, which is the same thing as 5 squared raised to the power x, raised to the power x, and 4 squared raised to the power y. So if we just change, we have 5 raised to the power x squared minus 4 raised to the power y squared equals 41 times 9. Those are the two factors that can easily help us with the base 5 from 4 so that we can be able to solve it further so we have since we have minus in between the two squares we can use difference of two squares so that will give us 5 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power y equals 9 we use we equate that one to 9 because it's the smaller of the two equations so the other one is 5 raised to the power x plus 4 raised to the power y equals 41 we use 42, we quit that one to 41 because it's bigger than 5 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power y. So that will give us two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. So now if we add both equations together, we have five two into bracket five raised to power x equals fifty. Five x five raised to power x is in two places. So if we add it together, we just get two into bracket five raised to power x equals fifty. Then we divide both sides by the coefficient of five raised to power x, which is two. So that will give us five raised to power x equals twenty five. That is fifty divided by two. That is twenty five. Then we have five raised to power x equals five squared. 25 is the same thing as 5 square. 5 square will give us 25. So since they have the same base, then the powers are we can equate the power. So x equals 2. Now we can plug in two as the as x as the value of x in the equation one equation one is a uh, five raised to power x minus four raised to power y equals nine so if you plug in two you have five square minus four raised to power y equals nine five square will give us twenty five then minus four raised to power y equals nine then twenty five minus four raised to power y equals nine if you collect the like times we have minus four raised to power y equals nine minus 25 that is if we use additive inverse adding subtracting 25 from both sides then we have minus 4 raised to power y equals 9 minus 25 and that will give us minus 4 raised to power y equals minus 16 So if we break down further, the, the minus we cancel minus, the minus at the left side will cancel the minus at the right side. So we have 2 raised to power 2 y, that is 4 is breaking, broken down to 2 raised to power 2. Then they will the power y before, so we have 2 raised to power 2 y equals 2 raised to power 4. 16 is broken down to 2 raised to power 4, because 2 raised to power 4 equals 16. So since the base are equal now, we can equate the power, so we have 2 y equals 4. Then we can divide both sides by the coefficient of y, which is 2. So 2y divided by 2 equals 4 divided by 2. I mean y equals 2. So we have question number 2. 
10 raised to the power 9 minus x squared equals 1. It's a very simple question. What we just need to do is to make sure that you have the same base is 10. So if you raise 10 to the power 0, it will just give us that 1. So we have 10 raised to the power 9 minus x squared equals 10 raised to the power 0. So since the base are equal, now we can replace the power. So we have 10, 9 minus x squared equals 0. So if we collect the lag times or uh, subtract 9 from both sides, we have minus x squared equals 0 minus 9. minor cancels minus so we have x squared equals 9 x squared equals 3 squared since we have the same power x equals 3 we can put the base so so this uh, equation to be attempted 32 raised to the power 5x minus 3 equals 1. So we shall discuss it together in the next class. Thank you. Don't forget to click the notification, subscription, and likes button.